welcome back to another Create Sima challenge. So today we are going to be doing the Witch Towny has the best genetics challenge again. So I did this challenge about a month ago now. And honestly, I love doing it so much that I thought we would do it again. So we have three different iconic townies and we are going to be trying to see who has the best genetics. Okay, for some reason, it looks like I have no hair other than a fringe right now. But I promise you, I have hair at the back. Okay, this is just really embarrassing. Let's just not discuss this. Anyway, so today we have a different sim. So last time I used Quinn, but today we're going to be using Adeline. So Adeline is the main character from my zombie apocalypse series. And like, because I've been playing that so much lately, I just thought we would use this sim because she's so cute. So, so, so cute. And um, I kind of love her. So I thought we would use her to breed. That really is not ideal. You know what? Bestie has just gone for a zombie apocalypse and now she has to have baby with, with three random townies. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. So I picked some of the iconic townies and we are going to be using Bob Pancakes, who is a legend. Last time we used Eliza. So let's see who has the best genetics out of the married couple and then we have summer holiday who i feel like is very hate on sim because she's like low-key always there and her makeup choices really scare me so like i'm not gonna do that with the baby let's just preface that now okay and then we have katrina caliente the updated version because i haven't really looked at them up close yet or anything so i just thought we'd use her she looks so different by the way like they changed her up so much it's crazy anyways so let's go ahead and start by playing with genetics so if you didn't see the first part first of all what are you do with your life darlings it was a great video don't want to toot my own horn but you know two two sorry didn't mean to just say that. that's really embarrassing but but lol sorry anyways but basically the premise is is you take one of your own sims and then you breed them breed them that really sounds bad i know i just not i just stop saying the word breed you make them have a baby with a townie and then you try and make that child look as good as possible and then you see who has the best genetics but of course like i do not believe that like someone has the best genetics that's just stupid as hell so it's also just like a fun challenge okay like we don't really care about the title it's just yeah anyways so this is child number one between adeline and bob bob is such a funny name honestly it's such an iconic name bob are you kidding me it's such a fun word to say is it just me bob like just say the end b is really fun bob you know what i mean anyways so here we have the randomizer with three i think that this child's kind of got a lot of bob this child is going to be called something pancakes obviously so you're going to be called gladys gladys pancakes that is an amazing name that is <laughs> that is up there with the most iconic names are you kidding me gladys oh my god i love that so much what is gladys from oh it's different friends like that painting that's kind of funny anyways sorry distracted so we are going to go ahead and make this child into a young adult and we are going to see exactly what Gladys looks like. We're going to give her a bit of a makeover and uh, see if she's got the best genetics. It makes no sense, I know. Okay, this is literally, literally just Bob. Is it just me? <laughs> is there an ounce of Adeline in there? Let's have a gander, shall we? Um, I want to say maybe she's got slightly Adeline's nose, but not really. I feel like the eyes are Bob and I feel like the mouth is Bob. Because like, if you look at Gladys and you look at Adeline, I mean, maybe they have the same eyes. I don't know. You know, I've heard I'm kidding. I'm really pretending like I'm this expert genetics. Bro, I do not know a thing, okay? I do not know a thing. Does Bob have much of a chin? I feel like they seem to have quite like a weaker jawline. Well, that's a bit confusing because my guy has like the prop. I've never noticed that Bob's chin was that strong. You know, that is like, that is impressive. That's like Squidward level. Let's give this kid a makeover. So I'm going to kind of go for mostly what Bob's appearance is. There's no point in putting Adeline much in there really because like, you know, we don't really care about her. I mean, that's kind of mean to say, it, but it's kind of true. That sounds really mean. It really didn't mean to. But like, do you guys like Bob? Opinions in the comments. I I kind of like Bob. I feel like he's a good guy. I think the thing is, is I'm kind of an Eliza stan. So like Bob's kind of like, he's just there for me. But like, I feel like he's a, he's a decent guy. And I, I don't know, I feel like I know, I've never actually played with them. Is it just me? Have you guys ever played with the townies? Because I honestly feel like that's kind of the whole premise of having townies. It's like, you kind of meant to play with them. And like, that's how you kind of meant to do. Like you meant to sort of play with them more. But like, Bestie, I do not do that. I, I never play with the townies because they're so boring. Like, I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry. But like, you, they kind of are, you know? And like, it's, it's really not their fault, except it is their fault because they're boring and like just be better you know like just be more exciting but they're not exciting at all also why did i feel like bob had glasses he does not have glasses that's eliza has glasses she naturally age your vivid ligo so i'm gonna add that back let's just kind of do all of the usual stuff i feel like i'm so boring with this because like i do not mix up like people are so like smart with how they make their sims like they do like so many different things babes i do nothing different every single sim has the exact same skin details for me okay because you know what i like the skin details like why would i not choose them if i like them why stop what I tend to do it's for about a month or so I love a certain set of skin details and then I go off it immediately like there's this like flip of a switch where I just immediately despise whatever I kept using and then I move on to something else and then the, the the pattern repeats it's like do you guys have this I feel like maybe this is a common thing I don't know I have this thing where I will eat a certain food or drink a certain drink 
non-stop for like about a month or a couple of months and then immediately one day i'll wake up and i'll be like that is disgusting like that is horrendous what was i even thinking and i don't know why this is the case because you know what currently i'm loving a bit of toast you know i just keep eating toast all the time every day it's, it's it's a toast day for me but then one day i know for a fact very soon that i'm gonna wake up and despise toast and it's very annoying because right now toast is just so goddamn banging and i don't want to despise toast but i know i will because my brain works like that and it's really stupid because i don't want to despise toast anyways that was so stupid of a conversation to have with you guys i'm very sorry how are we doing today guys <laughs> i'm so sorry about that right what color eyes so you have brown eyes i feel like they both have brown eyes they both have brown eyes just both have brown eyes he does have brown eyes i thought so oh my god so smart i don't know nothing about townies i feel like everyone knows so much information about townies you know all of like the bella goth stuff couldn't tell you don't even know she was abducted or something by aliens or something like i don't know i don't know i'm i've never played the sims 2 or 3 don't know 2 i think it was the sims 2 wasn't it i played the sims 3 but i never played the sims 2 i'm pretty sure bella goth wasn't in the sims 3 was she in the sims 3 i don't know if she was in the sims 3 guys i just don't know anything this is just proof i know nothing about sims i'm so sorry to tell you this but i am absolutely the worst person to ask about sim stuff which is quite embarrassing because of how many hours i have on this game <laughs> but i just like making pretty people okay it doesn't mean i know about law i think these eyes look really cute and then i think we'll go with like some heavy-ish blush maybe something like that looks cute and then i kind of hmm i don't really know what to go for because i feel like bob i love the man kind of ish but he's he's kind of got a bland sort of style like he doesn't have a style i mean don't get me wrong i would wear this outfit ignore the shoes if you just hear me out if you just do that and swap out to converse oh my god i'd wear this outfit immediately also maybe wait just give me one more second just brb be right back guys don't worry there you go maybe not that shirt actually there you go i'd wear this in a heartbeat wait this is kind of a slay outfit oh my god i might use this as fashion inspiration is bob pancakes my new fashion inspiration is he gonna be on pinterest soon like should we put his outfit on pinterest and see if everyone likes it because i think they will bob pancakes fashion call you know what i mean i'm sorry i'm gonna stop now i'm just gonna leave him like that because he looks great i'm sorry anyways distracted so premise is bob is kind of a lazy guy and he kind of doesn't do much with his appearance like he doesn't really care that much so i figure we can kind of go for that a little bit with gladys because i mean technically that doesn't really work like that life doesn't really work like that just because one of your parents is a bit lazy it's just like you're not gonna be lazy as well no it doesn't really work like that but for the sake of this challenge we are gonna do that so i think just maybe like some really small eyelashes like that maybe like a very tiny matte eyeliner something like that and i feel like i don't know i feel like mm, i feel like Bob has kind of like a bit of a not not an alt style but i feel like he could have a bit of an alt style like if he tried if he put effort in he could so i feel like i might make the child a little bit like that plus you know summer holiday and katrina caliente are not very alternative so consider how much i love making alternative sims i'm at least gonna try to make a one this video because if i don't do it with bob i ain't gonna ever be able to okay in this video so just let me have this okay just let me have this i'm sort of enjoying this makeup i feel like it's kind of very simple also i never looked at my profile there you go but i feel like that's like a pretty subtle makeup it's not really subtle who am i kidding bro who am i kidding oh my god this is such easy to do makeup babes i could never i could never do makeup like this i'm gonna pretend okay i'm gonna pretend oh my god i just downloaded these hairs how cute are these oh shut up i need to use these asap not on this sim probably but good lord that is gorgeous anyways let's see what kind of hair i kind of like this like length on her so i'm kind of thinking like a shorter one maybe let's have a quick look through that's pretty cute i don't know oh i don't know what i'm feeling mm, i'm feeling very indecisive right now clearly that is not medium babes that is <laughs> that's not quite medium but i appreciate your effort i love this hair on her i feel like this suits her so much so i actually think i'm gonna go with that i mean we could go for brown maybe we do go for like the slight brown just so that it's a little bit closer to adeline but yeah that is a really cute hair oh my god slay so as for the outfit like i said i do definitely want to kind of go for this bit more of a chill vibe but at the same time i kind of like the the cutest bit a little, a, little, a little smidge a little splash added in there you know like they're doing cooking or something i don't know my knowledge from about cooking is from ratatouille and i'm not embarrassed to admit that except i am actually a bit embarrassed i'm kind of embarrassed i just said that i could edit it out but i'm not going to am i i'm going to keep that in like an idiot oh my god this is so cute it's not at all what i'm going for here but i feel like because of the cargoes maybe we give her cargoes actually ingenious idea ingenious why is it called ingenious and not just genius that's a question to ask myself that is i'm very i don't know anyways i think that some cargoes would be really sick just to pay homage to bob so like i'm kind of thinking these because like i love these so much and i feel like these do her so much oh my god i love this sim so much oh my god i want to slay i feel like i'll stick with the green just because bob does have green ones unless mm, i guess we could go for a different color but i don't know that green is just it's just such a lovely green like the khaki green or whatever it's called it's so gorgeous so let's go with this and then i'm sort of thinking like a tank top maybe honestly something like that but maybe in black oh <gasps> that is so cool but it's a bit too like high maintenance i feel like like <gasps> I'm gonna have to cut that out because I just saw boobies. Sorry. I just said the word boobies. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, this is epic. <gasps> guys <laughs> listen i know i said i was gonna go very chill but I, 
Do you know what I mean? I don't feel like I have to even explain to you guys how much in love I am with this sim. And I'm not even going to have to try to. Because I'm sure you guys are as well. And if you're not, what are you doing with your life, babes? Because look at this goddamn sim. Okay. But I'm going to go for it. I don't care what you say. Maybe you've agreed with me and then I feel really bad for saying I don't care what you say. We'll go with these, like, cute little trainers on underneath. Honestly, you can't really see them. But, like, just pretend. And then I think, like, some nail polish. Honestly, I always go with the chipped one. So, for once, I'm going to go for non-chipped. Even though, currently, as you guys can tell... <laughs> <laughs> my nails aren't looking too good. Oh, I wonder if any of these belts would fit. Oh my god, these would be so sick. Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have a premise. If we swap this out so that it's a non-belted one, we could maybe find one that fits. That's kind of cool, but I feel like it's already her. Oh, that's a swear word. Let's not use that. Look how cute that is. Oh my god, shut up. That is adorable. I want a bag like that. <gasps> that. That looks cool. What do we think? That or that? Mm, you know, I'm kind of feeling maybe just the original. That's okay. I won't accessorize that much. And I'm thinking maybe just like some of these maybe. Just some chill little bracelets like that. Ooh, how do we feel about a little like satchel? Oh my god, that's really cute. I love giving myself satchels lately because like I pretty much have always got a satchel on because like I don't know. I feel like I'm a very big bag person. I feel like I need a bag everywhere. Like I just feel like I have so much stuff to take with me. Oh my god, what about these gloves with a little, <gasps> with a little star? Oh my god, guys, I'm so sorry. I've really gone off topic, but at the same time i don't really care that much like i'm apologizing but am i really that sorry no because you know what look how great this sim looks okay it's not my fault she was born she was born to have this estate is some chains like this too much i mean yeah probably a little bit a little bit a little bit too much fair enough <gasps> is that too much i'm i'm kind of giving my sims ties a lot lately i don't know what it is but there's something about them that looks so cool but i feel like maybe this isn't the circumstance to put a tie i don't know i'm sorry i won't do it just a little little sword necklace like that we are twinning oh my god i also have a sword necklace incredible i definitely think some facial piercings would suit her a lot i actually don't really feel like a septum suits that much which is very shocking of me to say so i think we'll just go with maybe like a little nose stud that looks really cute i love that i really want to give her a eyebrow piercing but it kind of like doesn't fit on her eyebrows maybe i'll just swap them out because i really want to give her one okay there we go that's good a little lip ring as well and then oh, i really want to give her some headphones but you can't really see them maybe just some hoop earrings like that and i think that that's the full outfit i honestly Honestly, I love this sim. Oh, what am I on about, Lana? What are you doing with yourself? You've got to give us some tattoos. Oh my God, Gladys deserves tattoos, bro. Those are really cool. Let's go with those and also give her a bit of arm and leg hair. Okay, she is so cool. Oh my God, I'm actually loving this sim. So this is Gladys Pancakes, an iconic name for an iconic sim. What can I say? And she's apparently a really greatly amazing, cheerful, loves outdoors, ambitious sim. Good Lord, what an absolutely lovely sim. She's just iconic. Gladys is the... The, the, the love of my life at this point and she's apparently also a uh, family super parent person so that's great so this is the child between adeline and bob pancakes what a legend honest to god i'm in love with this sim so that is swell so now let's move on to summer holiday so summer is definitely i feel like a lot of people don't like her because she just kind of just show up out of nowhere and like she's always like at the welcome wagon like at the door when you're in willow creek which like you know what that's just how she's designed okay like that's how sims are but i do agree that she's kind Kind of she's there a lot you know but i kind of love her i don't i feel like i don't dislike any townies except for maybe bloody daddy but even bloody daddy i kind of love the guy you know like i'm just I, don't, I just love them all really so let's go ahead and randomize the daughter so this is child number one definitely a lot of adeline in her this is number two definitely a lot of summer in her and we have a number three who i don't even know who she looks like i think she's maybe got summer's eyes and nose i don't know i can't tell i like it when i can't tell which parent has the more pronounced genes so what's a funny name Let's call her Winter. I'm sorry. That's not funny, but it is to me. Let's go ahead and age her up into a young adult. Let's see how she looks. I feel like she's going to be really cute. I feel like she definitely looks a lot like Summer. <gasps> Yo, she's so cute. You know, I actually can't really tell who she looks like. I think she's definitely got Summer's nose. I feel like the rest is actually Adeline. I think so anyways. Summer Holiday, obviously, as we know, has this very... I want to say interesting style. Uh, <laughs> it's unique. It's different. She's kind of very, like... I don't know what to call it, but, like, it's not my style. Like, let's just say that. Oh, my God. That is not your outfit, babes, for winter. You would not be warm in that. Good Lord. I feel like it's very... She likes blue a lot. She has terrible makeup, and she's obviously blonde with blue eyes. So I think we'll keep that just to get across a lot of her. She looks really angry. It's kind of making me laugh because I feel like Summer's very like, yay, I'm so happy to be here. And then they ha you have Winter who's like, 
distraught. I feel like if this was an actual storyline, I'd make her into this like rebel, like emo teenager because her mom is just so happy all the time that it annoyed her to a point of no return. But I feel like for the sake of the challenge, I'm not gonna do that. But just know guys, just know I would so do that otherwise. Although to be fair, maybe she's just this mad looking because she's called Summer Holiday. Cause you know what? That is a good enough reason. Valid reason, okay? Because who on earth would willingly name their child Summer Holiday? I mean, Winter Holiday. I mean, who would name their child Summer Holiday either? That is just the fault. I wanna know who Summer's parents are. I wanna meet Summer Holiday's parents. And I really hope that they're called Autumn and Spring. I think I'm gonna give her some freckles. I'm not entirely sure if Summer has any, but I feel like because she has like such pale skin, I feel like the sun exposure would be quite a lot. Bro, can we just discuss this flipping Summer, okay? Because I'm so angry at the world. I just hate Summer so much. Like, I like to think, oh, not the sim, by the way. I'm so sorry, Summer Holiday. But like, I just dislike Summer so much, the, the actual season in real life. Because currently, I'm sat here with a fan directly onto me. Luckily, it's not in front of me like I used to do. Because I used to like I was in a music video all the time. I was like, you know what I mean? Like in like a really bad music video. And I didn't have that look. You know, I didn't look like how they looked in those music videos. I just looked sweaty and disgusting. So that wasn't fun. But in such a tiny room that I have, you can imagine that it's horrible. Plus, I can't open my window because then everyone will hear me outside. And that would be the end of it for me. I would never be able to go outside again. And then I'd just live in the house forever and ever and ever. Although at least that way I'd be able to make a lot of videos for you guys. So I guess there is swings and roundabouts in life. But I have this love-hate relationship with Summer because I love going on holiday and I love everyone's so happy and everyone's so lovely in summer but at the same time I am disgustingly sweaty I am a mess I have sensory issues so I can't deal with the sun on my skin I have like Ugh! it just <laughs> when I'm going on holiday twice that is very exciting news I just thought I'd let you guys know I am very excited okay so I think for eyes these are actually really gorgeous and I feel like they're like very like mysterious like which kind of she kind of gives off because she's kind of like this I don't know she looks moody doesn't she like she has this kind of resting face it's a little bit moody looking but like don't we all you know like I look evil when I'm walking around. You know, I'm like this. I think there's some blush. Like, that looks really cute. I definitely want to go for, like, lighter makeup. I guess, like, a little bit more. I don't know what to describe summer style. But it's definitely not something that I normally do because it's a lot more, like, I guess, like, preppy. I don't know. It's not really preppy. It's just, like, very, like, colourful. Which, like, in case you couldn't tell, it's not my forte. Oh, my God. I have considered dyeing my hair, though. What do you guys think? Should I dye, like, the blonde bits? I just slay. I kind of want to. I've had pretty much every colour of the rainbow for hair. So, I kind of want to go back to having a colourful hair. I'm kind of thinking purple or blue or red. I don't know. I'm very indecisive, clearly. Anyways, I think these lashes look really really good and then I think I'm gonna go for some like a really like kind of like subtle lashes because I feel like she just like somehow has this very like dainty look I guess I guess is the best way of describing it where it's kind of like I don't feel like she wears to be fair she just wear a lot of makeup in my kidding but I feel like she's kind of got this very like summery which kind of checks out <gasps> wait she's called winter holiday maybe we could like take that and run with it you know like may <laughs> maybe summer's got this like really summery appearance maybe we make it look like she's in winter all the time is that a bit too much I don't know is that stupid that's stupid isn't it I don't think I'll do that I think that kind of makeup looks really cute Cute. Bro, she looks so moody. I don't know how to fix it. Is that a bit better? I feel like that's a bit better. I'm sorry. I couldn't deal with that. I mean, I made my sentence look moody, don't get me wrong, but like that was to an extent of like no return, okay? That was like evil. She looked absolutely evil. Let's have a look for her hair now. So, so I'm enjoying something like this. I very rarely go for something like so big. Like I feel like because it's kind of unrealistic because like I don't know who has that much hair in real life, but I certainly do not, okay? I look like I literally just have a fringe attached <laughs> to a bald head right now. I think I'm gonna actually do the skirt first. I say skirt skirt first because i'm definitely giving her a skirt but i think i'm gonna do like the bottoms first sometimes i find it a bit easier like that is a pro tip okay from a non-pro that is a pro tip if you're looking for all the tops and you cannot find a single thing that you like do the bottoms first and then honest to god you'll go back to the tops and it will just fall into place like it is so smart it is like so genius and like i invented it no i did not that's a lie but like i do that and it really helps so i just want to let you guys know i would recommend 10 out of 10 how do i feel about this skirt i feel like that's really cute i don't know i don't do anything like that like ever so i feel like that's kind of a fun little different thing for me to to do and then i don't really know what top to go for i don't know i struggle so much i mean that's kind of cute that actually kind of works it's like kind of a similar vibe maybe we'll go for that i also feel like she totally have a belly button piercing like that belly button right there that is screeching at me that is yelling in my ear right now please please give me a piercing i need a piercing so bad i look so slay and i agree you will look so slay you are so correct piercing i don't know what is wrong with me honest to god <gasps> see like a little butterfly oh my god 
shop. That's so cute. And then I think like some little like sandals or something. I mean, this is not very winter-esque, but like I kind of love it anyways. I don't really care. It's kind of fun doing something that's out of my comfort zone. So I always love doing stuff out of my comfort zone. I mean, I don't. That's a lie because if it's a comfort zone, why leave it? You know what I mean? But I, I guess it's kind of a fun thing to, to try to challenge myself to do other stuff. These little shoes are really cute. Let's go with those. I think just like a little bracelet watch like that. I don't want to say a bracelet watch. If it's a watch, it's going to be a bracelet, right? <gasps> Maybe they should invent like an anklet that's a watch. Although that would be very difficult because how on earth would you look at the clock? I don't know. But that should be a thing. I bet that's a thing, you know. Some idiot has done that. Maybe I should invent it. I don't know. Anyways, I think like some really cute long nails. Why can I not give them nails? Guys, do you have this issue where sometimes Sims just can't have nails? I don't know if it's like a certain like shirt or skirt or something, but it just like makes them not able to wear nails. And it honestly makes me so sad because like she looks so cute in nails. Just imagine that they're there, okay? Just just really imagine. I don't think she really have tattoos. Maybe like one like floral one or something, but I'm not really feeling like many. Also, I've been like loving this little like highlighter i don't know why it's just like so cute i don't know i just love it so i'm gonna go with that as well yeah i shouldn't think i'm gonna give her any tattoos i've looked i can't really see any that i really like particularly so let's maybe give her <gasps> do i just take off any accessories oh my god i'm so sorry babes okay that wasn't that much of a big deal i thought i took off her makeup to be honest that's kind of embarrassing that i made such a big deal out of it let's move on um you know what i think for the first time in like seven years um that's a lie but still i'm not gonna give my sim a facial piercing i know the world is changing i know truly but i think just little star ones like that little star earrings look really cute very little moon necklace and maybe we could give her like a little house and then i'm kind of thinking like a beret i don't know if this makes sense to have a beret wear an outfit like this but i mean is it too warm i don't know or maybe a headband oh my god wait that's so cute that is one large beret bro that is one large beret <laughs> i think that little headband's really cute it doesn't really make much sense but like just work with me and i think that this is the final sim so her name is obviously winter holiday we are going to randomize her traits she is apparently a lovely lily foodie high animal ambitious ambitious both of them are ambitious crazy and also she wants to be a zen guru as well crazy times so this is winter holiday she is the child of adlin and summer holiday and honestly i feel like she's really cute like she's definitely different to my normal style like i kind of love her for that you know what i mean like it's kind of fun and different so kind of a slay guys we're kind of popping off right now you open up Again. Okay, and now we're going to be doing the final sim, who is Katrina Caliente. And we are going to go ahead and make her have a baby with Adeline once more. Poor Adeline is nearly out of this and back to the zombie apocalypse, which is really not a better place to be. But here we go. So here is the randomized number one, number two, and number three. Oh my god, wait. She's okay. She's really cute. Let me have a quick look. I feel like she's got a lot of Katrina in her, actually. So let's go ahead and randomize her name. So her name is Carly Caliente. Let's age her up into a young adult and let's see how she looks. I feel like she's definitely got a lot of Katrina there. So I'm intrigued to see if there's any Adeline at all. Wait a minute. I'm gonna wait. First of all, kind of cute. Love that. I mean, is there any Adeline in that sim? <laughs> Guys, let's just have a look, shall we? The only thing that is Adeline is the eyes. That is the only thing. That is crazy. The skin tone, like everything. Like oh, the whole face shape and everything. I swear Sims genetics are so bad. So we're gonna obviously stick with the ginger hair that Katrina has. She even got genetically the ginger hair as well there is not an ounce of adlin in her other than the eyes that is just wild they really need to fix genetics bro because i don't think i mean i guess that kind of is how it works i don't think katrina has any freckles so we'll just go with like a couple of moles instead i've just added all of the normal skin details and let's do some teeth well she already has teeth but you know what i you know you know you know what i you know what i meant right you know what i meant so we've once again got brown eyes just katrina actually have brown eyes i don't know why i would imagine her having green she does have green eyes okay you know what we'll go for green eyes although is it just gonna be fully katrina but then again i guess that's the point of the challenge i don't know you know see i have this very indecisiveness about me can you tell although i guess if it's genetics i should probably stick with the one that they originally got that makes more sense oh my god i'm so smart definitely can picture katrina having huge lashes i feel like the fact that we don't have lashes in the sims 4 is wrong purely because of katrina caliente because if you're telling me for one second that she does not wear false eyelashes you are wrong that's not an opinion that is a fact okay I don't know which, but I'm kind of thinking, I don't know, something like that or something. I feel like she'd have kind of like chunky ones rather than like spread apart. I feel like she looks a lot less enthused than Katrina. Like, it's just kind of unhappy. I don't know what it is, but every single like towny baby looks so unenthused and like unhappy with life. <gasps> I've only just realized, wait, this sim, Carly Caliente, would be the third Caliente sister.
Lisa. Because it's Dina, Katrina, and why is it? Dina, Katrina, and what? Who? Who's the other one? Nina, obviously. Okay, maybe we should swap out Carly's name for something that's like Dina. Is there anything else? Lena. Oh my god, yes. I don't think that's how you spell Lena. I don't know. You've got Katrina, Dina, Nina, and Lena. Oh my god, that is incredible. I actually love that so much. Okay, sorry. <laughs> that is that is amusing to me. I am gonna have to make her look a little bit happier because it's kind of killing me right now. I've just gone for this makeup. It's kind of simple, but I feel like it kind of works. I don't know. I might swap it out if we find a hair. Like, I don't know. We'll have to match it to the rest of the sim, but let's have a quick look through the hairs. I'm definitely thinking long hair because, I don't know, the Calientes just always scream long hair to me. They just, I don't know why. I don't know why that's the case. I don't think there's an actual reason in. I just feel like they suit long hair and they just are, they just have long hair, you know? Kind of like this hair on her. It's kind of like pushed back. I don't know. I just feel like it suits her, so I'm gonna go with this. And then let's see about the outfit. I'm sort of thinking a dress. I feel like, I don't know why. I just, I don't know. Just, she just screams a dress to me. Because if you look at Katrina's style, you've kind of, to be fair, I feel like they did Katrina kind of dope with these outfits because like, I feel like she would not wear this outfit. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Like this, you know what I mean? That's more Katrina. I don't know. That's just, it's, it's interesting. She's interesting. Oh my God. Is that actually her cold weather outfit? <gasps> Good golly. And also, those glasses just look like they're just like two eyes. Like, ah, ah, you know what I mean? But, um, sorry. Anyways, I feel like her style is just kind of like, it ain't great, you know? It ain't great. The absolute urge to do this, like, give. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'll never forgive myself. I'll never forgive myself if I do that. I'm sorry. I like this dress. I feel like it's really cute. I like the off-the-shoulder thing. And I think just like some really like thigh-high boots. I don't really know what colour to go for, please. I mean, I'd naturally just go for black. But like, is that too much? I don't know. Maybe we'll go for that. I don't know. Does that match? Oh god, I can't tell this kind of thing. I'm just gonna go for black. I honestly don't know anything about like this kind of fashion sense. So please ignore me <laughs> with this. Wait, oh my god, how do we feel about that instead? Kind of matches. It's not quite the same, but let's just imagine. Can I give you nails? I can. Legendary. Okay. Let's go with that. Look really cool does this match it doesn't really does it i don't know and actually i would just go for black but like i said i think it's maybe too harsh but then the pink doesn't quite match either so like it's kind of annoying me because everything's just like slightly not matching yeah you're just gonna have to ignore that it doesn't match babes because like i just i just i just i can't i can't nothing's matching okay i'm sorry again i know it doesn't quite match but like i gave her this little bag and just because i feel like she just she just needs a little handbag like that you know and we'll give her some tattoos again so i think it's like tiny ones like that like i feel like she wouldn't have many but they'd just kind of be like dotted around like i don't know i just kind of get that energy from her. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really feeling this hair, so I think I'm gonna try and swap it out, see if there's anything better. I'm actually gonna swap her hair out to this one. I feel like it's a little bit more, I don't know, it just it just gives me more of the right vibe, you know? And I've just given her some earrings and also this necklace. And I think that this is the final look. I felt like she does look really cute. It's definitely very different to my normal sim style or like style in general, but I feel like she looks really cute. So she is apparently a lovely party animal, recycle disciple, and art lover. One that isn't ambitious, okay? And also she apparently wants to be a master vampire. Interesting. Let's go ahead and have a look through everyone now. So, of course, we have the parent of all of the Sims, which is Adeline. And Adeline first had a child with Bob Pancakes. And that child was Gladys Pancakes, who is this kind of like, I don't even know, like streetwear style. Very cool Sim. Then we moved on to some holiday. And we had Winter Holiday, who is definitely kind of the spit of summer, but like just a little bit different, I guess. I mean, to be fair, not the spit. I feel like the aesthetic the same but the face isn't and then finally we had Katrina Caliente who created Lena Caliente and once again she's really cute she's kind of got this very like I don't know what you call this style but it's kind of like very formal I guess I don't know how to describe it but it's it's very out there style which I really like so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and let me know which one is your favorite I'm not gonna lie to you guys I gotta give it to Gladys I just have to give it to Gladys look at this sim oh my god she's so cool I want to be her or date her I'm not entirely sure but it's one of the two you know so let me know what you think in the comments down below and let me know which one your favorite is let me know if you want me to the challenge again or if you have any other challenge sessions let me know them in the comments remember to like subscribe if you want and i'll see you guys in a video i love you guys Goodbye.